Pins. What's up? I'm Rob. You're watching Man vs. Pin, episode 99. 90 fucking nine of these fucking things. Wow, what the fuck happened? Halloween is right around the corner, uh, but I don't give a shit. Uh, we're starting things now. We can't fucking wait. Especially because this week's pin has been fucking with me for years. A ton of you suggest it each and every Halloween. It's one of those fucking pins that I live for. Just the lifeblood of this fucking show. Bullshittiest of the fucking bullshit. The Fabric Ghost Dolls. It reads, what a wicked cool idea. And please make note that wicked cool is in quotations so you know that it's fucking official. Get a doll and drape fabric around it. Spray generously with eye Eileen's Fabric Quick Stiffening Spray and let it dry. That's all it takes. Sounds like a pretty f***ing easy f***ing project. But Piddle Meter, what do you think? The bullshit is strong with this one. You don't say. Now it took a little bit of Sherlockin to figure it all out, but there's an artist mark in the bottom right hand corner that says Nalafi or Nelofi. You Google that dude and all of his pictures come up. Tons more of these fabric cloth ghosts. Venture further down the rabbit hole and you find out that whoever wrote this fucking caption is a goddamn asshole. Turns out that an Austrian artist and sculptor by the name of Manfred Kleinhofer created these. The art project is actually titled Guardians of Time and apparently the guards are placed in public places, squares, and parks to let us never forget that we are always being watched. And thanks to the force perspective, they look a lot bigger than they actually are. These are actually the miniature size of the larger life-sized ones. The best f***ing part is that they are molds made of plastic. I'm gonna say that this is a giant f***ing marketing win for the Eileen's Glue Company. I could just end the episode right now and call it a day, but I'm gonna give it a go for the fuck of it. I went to the store and picked myself up some Eileen's Fabric Quick Stiffening Spray. You fucking got my money. Uh, then I hopped on over to Toys R Us. Gotta find a baby doll. That's creepy right there. Holy shit, that's fucking weird. <laughs> This is the fucking aisle nightmares are made out of drink and pee. I guess you're the winner. Once home, uh, I opened up my doll box, which was kind of fucking ridiculous, uh, to be honest with you. A little much. Get the f out of this goddamn box. Jesus, so many fucking ties and fucking bullshit. I don't even. Ugh. All right, so I got this doll because it has the structure of the baby sitting down already. So super simple. We're just gonna drape it over this fucking thing. And to have some like even coverage, we gotta fucking cut the shit out of this ponytail. You're losing this fucking ponytail. Here we go. Boom, that's the fucking style these days. We don't need any of this. Yeah. How do you like that? Is that all right? It'll grow out its hair, you know? All right. What? Yeah, okay, enough. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna cut this sheet up. Well, that is a quality 200 thread count fucking sheet. Look at that, it's that YouTube money. What is this, a fucking fitted sheet? God damn it. This is how you unfit a sheet. No. I guess you take the sheet and you put it over it like that. I'm not sure how the glue is gonna stick to the child, so I'm going to wrap it in cellophane. This is Night, night, time to go to sleep. Okay, yeah. Oh, Christ. Now we're gonna follow whatever fucking directions that this pin says. So we're gonna take this stiff and quick, shape it over this fucking creepy doll here. Just spray it all over, I imagine. Yep, that's glue. Jesus Christ, it's a fucking pain in the ass. All right. Ugh. I'm not sure how you're supposed to like shape it. This fucking sticky fucking bullshit. I don't know. I don't know. Like it doesn't stick to the doll or anything. Like the stuff doesn't fucking dry that fast. Maybe I'm taking like a rubber band and I'm just fucking wrapping it around. That's what I'm gonna do. Ugh. Everything's so sticky. Yep. What the fuck is that? It's a baby doll thing. That's not what it looks like. It's what it looks like right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the little hood. No. Really? Yeah. But wait, what are you, this stuff? Yeah, the Eileen's quick spray. No, that's not gonna work. That's what the fucking pin says. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> don't fucking laugh at me. No, don't help me. I don't need your, I don't need your help. Thank you. I don't, need, I don't no. Ah. Okay, thank you. 
<laughs> Stop laughing at me. Get out of here. <laughs> Why you have your own fucking show? I don't give a fuck what she said. This shit is fucking looking good. Oh, oh. We got something going here. We got something. We got something here. It looks weird, but it looks good. Well, hopefully this fucking thing doesn't kill me in the middle of the night. It looks like some fucking Guantanamo fucking day bullshit. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here to dry, and then we'll check back up on it tomorrow. Christ. All right, so it is approximately 1.39 in the morning. This is dry now, but it is not stiff. And I just fucking realized that I fucking did this whole thing wrong. I gotta do this again. You gotta drape it like this. So now that's it. That's it right there. Now we're fucking talking. Since this fucking stiff and quick bullshit didn't work, now I'm gonna take this fabric stiffener and draping liquid. Yeah. I'm just gonna take this, put it in here. Here, I guess. Get it all in there. Get it saturated in this fabric glue. Okay, here we go. Oh, a little all stuck together here. Come on now. Fucking shit. What the fuck? Come on. What the fuck is even happening right now? I don't fucking know. God damn it. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna mold it here to the arm and then kind of tuck it in around the body and the leg. Make sure that it drapes over the side a little bit. Try it over here. I'm fucking try it, I don't know. All right, that's what we're fucking looking at. All right, we're gonna see what happens. Leave this for another few more hours. Fucking hands are all, got all this hair and ugh. All right, it's so the next morning. This thing's been drying for a little while. The problem, however, is that it's stuck to everything. You're free! <laughs> Off you go! You all right? So, that doesn't look that bad. It's not bad at all. And look at that shit. It actually fucking works. Huh. I mean, not with the Eileen's quick stiffening glue, but with the other shit, it's not that bad. So in actuality, you can do this with a doll and some glue. Fuck me, it didn't turn out so bad after all. Well, that wraps up the 99th fucking episode of Man vs. Pen. Episode 100 hits the streets next week. Uh, if you follow us over on any of the social media platforms, you may have heard that Simply Nail Logical was in town last weekend shooting some videos with us. Is it a coincidence that the Queen of 100 Coats was in town around the same time that a Man vs. Pin episode 100 was being taped? I don't know, you're gonna have to find out next week for yourself. Let me know what other cool shit you wanna see made for Halloween uh, down in the comments below. I just got a Snapchat account, uh, who, so, so follow me over on that fucking thing. If you haven't been to our merch store yet, we've got some limited edition shit going on down over there, exclusive posters, t-shirts. Once they are gone, they are gone. And because I'm such a fucking kind-hearted son of a bitch, I'm gonna be giving away five Notification Squad t-shirts to the first five people that said Notification Squad on my last video. So, Merry fucking Christmas. All right, enough fucking shameless self-promotion. That's that's all, that's all I got for you. I don't have any real fucking content left. Just me fucking trying to sell shit. Buy a Threadbanger box, and I'll see you around here next week, 100th episode.